In this video, we will try to understand how to draw heat balance sheet per kg of fuel that is burned in case of boiler trial. So the observations are given in the case of the boiler trial. The mass of fuel is 1520 kg per hour. Temperature of feed water is 30 degree centigrade. Dryness fraction of the steam that is generated is 0 0.95. Pressure of steam is 8.5 bar. Coal burned per hour is 200 kg. Then calorific value of coal is 27,300 kilojoule per kg. The unburned coal that is collected is 60 kg per hour having a calorific value of 2000 kilojoule per kg. Now the mass of flue gases which are generated are 17.73 kg per kg of coal that is burned. Temperature of flue gases is 330 degree centigrade. The boiler room temperature is 27 degree centigrade. Specific heat of flue gases is 1 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. And the important part is that in this particular case we have to draw heat balance sheet per kg of fuel burn so all the values are there and those must be per kg of fuel that is burned for example as you can see over here the mass of fuel flue gases which are formed are 17.73 kg per kg of coal that is burnt so we have written this data so mass of steam then temperature of feed water dryness fraction pressure of steam that is generated mass of fuel burnt calorific value of fuel, mass of unburned fuel, then calorific value of unburned fuel, mass of flue gases form, temperature of flue gases and the boiler room temperature. Now CP of flue gases they are also given as 1 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So as the feed water is supplied at 30 degree centigrade we can say that H1 is nothing but HF at 30 degree centigrade from temperature basis steam table. So HF is nothing but specific enthalpy of water or specific enthalpy of saturated water at this particular 30 degree centigrade. So at 30 degree centigrade from temperature basis steam table value of HF is 125.8 kilojoule per kg. So that we have written over here. Then H2 is equal to H weight because the steam is generated at 8.5 bar and 0 0.95 dryness fraction is given. So as dryness fraction is given, we can say that it is a wet steam. So from pressure basis steam table, we can find out the values of HF and HFG at 8.5 bar. So from our steam table, we are having pressure basis steam table. We are having the values at 8.4 and 8.6 bar but we want the value at 8.5 bar so we can take the average of these two values so at 8.4 bar it is HF is 729.9 and at 8.6 it is 734.2 so it is 729.9 plus 734.2 divided by 2 so that comes out to be 732.05 similarly for HFG also we can add these two values together that is 2039.6 plus 2036.2 divided by 2 so that value comes out to be 2037.9 value of dryness fraction x is given as 0 0.95 so the value of h2 will be 2668.055 kilojoule per kg so in this way we have calculated the value of specific enthalpy of water at entry to the boiler and the specific enthalpy of steam that is generated from the boiler Now the first part of the heat balance sheet is total or gross heat supplied that is mass of fuel into calorific value of fuel. Now as we have to draw the heat balance sheet on per kg basis means what mass of fuel that we have to take as 1 kg. So 1 into calorific value is 27,300 so it is 27,300 kilojoule per kg. Out of this total heat that is supplied some part of the heat is used in the formation of the steam but as we have to draw the heat balance sheet on per kg basis correct we have divided mass of steam by mass of fuel or mass of coal that is burnt multiplied by h2 minus h1 so substitute the values and heat in the formation of steam comes out to be 19321.898 kilojoule per kg now we have to find out heat carried away by the flue gases so it is mcp delta t so it is mass of flue gases into specific heat of flue gases into temperature difference so mass of flue gases they are already given per kg of fuel burn cp of flue gases is 1 temperature of flue gases is 330 and boiler room temperature or atmosphere temperature is 27 degree centigrade 
so we'll get the value as heat carried away by the flue gases as 5372.19 kilojoule per kg the next part of the heat exchanger is heat heat carried away by the unburned fuel so mass of unburned fuel per kg of fuel that is one so therefore we have divided it by mass of fuel because our heat balance sheet is on per kg basis so it is mass of unburned fuel divided by mf into calorific value of the unburned fuel so 60 divided by 200 into 2000 and the last part of the heat expenditure is heat unaccounted for that is equal to total heat supply minus the first second and the third part that we have already calculated so total heat or cross heat supplied is 27,300 minus the first part is that of the heat in the formation of the seam second one is the heat carried away by the exhaust gases or flue gases and third one is heat carried away by the unburned fuel so unaccounted heat comes out to be 2005.912 now we have to formulate the heat balance sheet so the first column is that of the heat supplied then heat supplied in kilojoule per kg in percentage then heat expenditure and these are the various heat expenditures how the heat is utilized kilojoule per kg and percentage so total or cross heat supplied is 27,300 kilojoule per kg and that is 100% and this 100% of the heat is utilized in this particular fashion so first one is heat in the formation of the steam that is 19,321.898 so this 19,321.898 divided by 27,300 and multiplied by 100 will give the percentage of the heat that is utilized and it is also the efficiency of the boiler then heat carried away by the flue gases is 5372.19 and this value divided by 27300 multiplied by 100 will give the 19.678 so we can say that nearly 20 percent of the heat is carried away by the flue gases similarly for the unburned fuel nearly 2.1978 percentage of the heat is carried away by the unburned fuel and unaccounted heat is nearly 7.347 percent so if you add them together it comes out to be 100 percent so in this way we can draw the heat balance sheet in case of boiler trial thank you very much for watching